as that. Right, so welcome back to the Gaz Show. It is episode, I'm going to say eight. I think it's eight. Should we go with eight? Because we, we haven't filmed one since a proper episode. We haven't been doing live for ages. Yeah, we're doing Because we hit we a thousand. Now. Yeah, exactly. We hit so a thousand. Want... So we've got a guest today. Yeah. A YouTuber. YouTuber, yeah, that... vlogger. Yeah. TikToker. What else is he? City fan. City fan. Yeah, city fan Big as well. Big city fan. Big city fan. So, welcome on the show. We, we call him, what do we call him? JSM44. JSM. Also known as James. James, James, look at James. this, look Whoa. at this, <laughs> One way to make an entrance, isn't it? What an entrance, amazing entrance. I like that, I that's, like like that. that's like Harlan coming into our team this year, wasn't oh, it? Oh, no. <laughs> entrance. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So you, do you know what, I would put that as the best, best entrance. Best, love best that. Because, best love that. Yeah, because the last episode of Ginger, mate, you just, fuck, you just toppled over. He just, it. yeah, he said he's doing it. his hamstring in it. So yeah. welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, anytime, anytime you want to come on it, just ask. So anyway, what do you think of my office? It's massive. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's the first time we've actually utilised some of the space today. Yeah. What, 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 have you moved the couch a bit back or something? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> done something just like, like that. Utilize, done something uh, yeah. like that. Because when we actually had the place, we thought, you know what, we'll just plot in the corner, because like, you know what I mean? It could be anywhere in this space. But we've, we've utilised a bit of space, and we've got a bit of a challenge going on. We'll yeah, we've been told to up. use the space that's available. Yeah. Well, we can't play paintball and then it and all that stuff. Oh, that's a shame. I wanted to do that. I wanted to do that. Oh, mm. I mean, you they've, got, of... they've got like a centre for that now. They have, yeah. It's crazy. The Travis Centre. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I've not been yet. I went to the bowling and lost. I lost. <laughs> you know, <laughs> rubbish bowling. Nine, nine of us on Saturday. Do you do you use a little, the little push thing? Like what? No, I thought I was brave and said I didn't want the barriers up on you know on the lanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought I'd get them. Nah. <laughs> 38, 38, 38. 38. 38. Yeah, so me and James actually known each other before this. We met before. See, I didn't uh, know this. Yeah, so this is what I, I told, told Gaz so we met before. But it was a little bit embarrassing on mine because I'm not the best footballer, right? So uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'll find out you'll find out in this challenge later, yeah. But basically, I had to take 30 penalties against James, and uh, and he didn't know whether I was going to do the uh, the hop the hop. Uh, the hop kick was it? Yeah, the Jorginho hop, hop yeah. kick, right? And uh, he basically just saved all of them. I, didn't, I don't think I, I can't remember so if I made one. Or was he crap? Um, <laughs> to be honest, be honest, be honest. Be really honest. Both. Both. Yeah. Both. I was expecting you to score like five. I can't remember how many scored, but I never played goalkeeper. But we used to have this game growing up called dramatic FIFA saves. Where we just like if a shot went straight at you, we would just dramatically save it. Right. Okay. Hence why, if you have a shot from me from thirty-five yards and it's going in the top corner, yeah. I will save it. Yeah, it was. We, so you adapted to it. We and can now just you dive can, yeah, all the yeah, way into yeah. the top corner. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's not that, bad. That professor was like, I can't tell if he's doing the the, the hot kick or if he's just taking the kick. <laughs> so yeah, I don't well because the way you do it, right? It's meant to be like a like a jump and, like, and then and it's it like a hop, skip, and jump. Well, like, I jump anyway. Do you know what I mean? When I'm taking mine, I just, I just. Well, I it also more like a gallop. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I don't rate that. Do you rate, do you rate and that? To, and I had to wear goggles. The Jorginho. Yeah, you had to wear to, yeah, an eye tracking device to see which way you were looking exactly. in case, like, the exactly. penalty oh, right, was okay. more accurate than yeah. a normal penalty. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So there was a method in the madness. Yeah. Yes. That, that was what right. Okay. Yeah. So did it work? The, yeah, what was the? Do you remember the results? From yeah, me? the result was the hop was more effective. Well, there you go then. Um, so. Dan. But why is it called penalty. the Jorginho hop? Then? Because I think he was the first to do it. I think Bruno tried it, but then when he, he sent <laughs> one into the Stretford end. Bruno so. tries everything. He's like, Captain <laughs> says he still can't do that. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I think they call it Jorginho hop because he's the most famous player to do it and be successful at it. Oh, right. So yeah. his ratio is high. His ratio is very good. Right, OK. Because I don't rate the player, mate, to no, be honest. He made a big mistake yesterday, didn't he? So. Oh, that was brilliant, that. Wanted to make it 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Give it son. Don't leave the ball near son. He was... Ch what... I think he was trying to take too many touches because he had players around him I think he had to give the ball. I think he thought he had more time than he had, especially when Arsenal... Right, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you could say that, couldn't you? Because you're just out of the picture at the yeah, minute. Yeah, no, no, it's just fine, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have we're getting you in there. We're trying, we're trying, trying to get, to get back there. into it. But so it's best that I just listen, do you know what I mean? We've got so a few listen. questions for you today. OK. So, but the, one of the questions is, if he was going into football to support a team in the Prem, even though he's new, who would he best to support? Yeah. 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 Because I'm trying I'm trying to get into it, you know what I mean? If you're not a football fan, you might as well just be no one. You know certain players. Yeah. I know I know like What's your favourite yeah. player? Um Harland. 
Well, th this is how you should do it. This, <laughs> as good as Heartland is. <laughs> who's your dad's team? Dad's team's United, but he, he's, he still follows the football, but like, yeah. Our team, family team's United. What about your granddad's team? Uh, granddad didn't really watch football, but it's... We've got a bit of a mix. We've got we got some, we've got some Liverpool fans in our in our family. It's a bit of a but I mean we our family support United. It's United. Um, so well, you could be an absolute lad and go against everything and support City. But that's what I mean. That's if what your I family I supports say. United, then that's what what I'm mean. getting told you can't. Maybe, maybe they just kick me out. The house. I, I'm yeah. born and bred red, right? But I liked it when they were playing football. Now United, they're lost. Don't matter what manager you get in, they're gonna be lost. What is it now? Ten years now? Do not want to prep? It's 13? Yeah, ten years. Ten years. So my nieces and nephews say that I'm technically a City fan. But I'd rather, I'd rather the Prem go to Manchester or any of them. If you want to watch goals and the way they play football, you've got to watch City. If you want to watch United and put the odds on them yeah, can. losing, you've got more chance of getting them bets in because they're gone. They're finished. I wouldn't say finished, I just think they're Five, six, behind six, everyone six. else. Well behind. Well behind. Do you think they're buying? Do you think, who would you say their flop is at football buying? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so, against that game at Bayern Munich, it was a really weird game. And it I was did, odd. I did some analysis on this for some of the content creators. Right. If you didn't watch the game and saw Casemiro score twice, you think, he's had a good game. Yeah. He had an absolutely awful game. He was missing. He was rubbish. Yeah, he was missing. Every time Musiala got that ball, he just ran through the middle of the park as if nobody was there. And how good's Musiala? And Musiala is unbelievable. He's amazing. He's Where fantastic. just rubbish? He's up, he's up. He's no, we just... We just we, the way I look at it and the way you're going to look at it, we was lost. It, it is the it, case of lost. It's not the case that they're rubbish. They're, they are good players. Yeah. Very good. There's just... No, but we're lucky. Like, I don't, there's, there's no leadership. There's no tenacity. There's no. They're big words for me. So we'll who, just... who's meant to be? Who's meant to be in those? <laughs> sure, like, who's meant to be the lead? Who's meant to be leading Bruno? the team? Well, I disagree. I think the Actually, manager. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Bruno, I please. think this stems from Ten Hag. You see him come out with these absolutely ridiculous excuses. Right. Yeah, it did. We were the best team against Wolves. No, you weren't. You were lucky. You were very lucky. You were lucky. lucky. You've got very the lucky. Old Trafford luck that you needed. Yeah. And you got good goal from Varane, but. Wolves were so, so good. If they could they have... Should a, have should somebody have put us. the ball in the net for Wolves, they would have won the game. Should have beat us. So you think it's Ten Hag's problem? I think it's Ten Hag who's lost, and it reflects on the team. If your manager's lost, your team's lost. Look at Sancho's situation. Would you get rid of him? <sighs> would, yeah. Honestly, yeah. would you? Yeah, because of what you, he's ha you have to back your manager. The thing is, if this happened with Pep, look at Cancelo, he, he went. I know, but Pep... No matter what you throw at Pep, Pep knows what he's doing. Well, Klopp as well. Klopp's, Klopp's probably the second best. Yeah. In the Prem, Klopp is the second best. But Liverpool, not my cup of tea. They're a good team. They are a very, very good team. But when they're on a streak of losing or losing the Reds, that's it. When Liverpool's heads go, they go. They go. Yeah. They and, go. And it, yeah, they and go. And it's very hard for them to get it like, back. Like the comebacks are, the grass is long and stuff like that. Yeah. They didn't water our side of the pitch the for not being able. Yeah. You should hear some of Klopp's interviews. Oh, yeah. It's really <laughs> wrapped up. Down. Ten Hag's is the Ball's grass is too long. Of air in it, that stuff yeah, like that. the grass wasn't watered for Klopp and Pep's just Pep. Yeah, our side of the pitch in the second half wasn't watered, <laughs> so we couldn't play slick football. Yeah, that was one of it. I excuse that. But I think Jurgen Klopp's class manager. And... Liverpool are going to be good this year, even though they've very got no midfield. Yeah, very, very strong. Still don't rate Liverpool's midfield. I, I, I don't do and I don't because I, I like McAllister. I like McAllister and I like Gravenberch as well, who they've just signed. I like him as well. But I like... Still lacking a holding player. Yeah. So who would you replace? Who would you get if you could get anyone to replace that, to give City a chance? You know, to give Liverpool a chance of beating City because I don't think they give, would. If, if you give them Rodri, it becomes one hell of a title fight or something like that. Because the attack's not a problem. No, the attack will score goals. A lot attack. of them. Because I rate Nunes. Nunes. He's, he's getting there, he's getting there, isn't he? He is, isn't he? He's getting but there. He's, he's still got that hot hot head in him. Yeah, I was at the gate first game on his debut at Anfield and he, when he head-butted Anderson. Oh, and it was good that way. It was funny. I was just like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's one all. Yeah. You've got the momentum. Diaz has just scored a blinder and he's just going head-butt someone. <laughs> That's the Uruguayan in him, though, isn't yeah, it? The isn't South it? American in him. Yeah, because he doesn't. Because in the Prem, you can't do that. Look at um, Rodri. 
Or was it Rodri on Saturday? Absolutely Sunday. silly from Rodri. He wouldn't have got sent off if he didn't put his two hands. <laughs> if, if, if he'd done with one, he might have got a yellow one. He should have given him a slap. There you go. But he did. He did provoke him, didn't he? He did provoke him. But he's a good player, that Gibbs White. I, I rate him. I rate him as well. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna win, win against Rodri. I think, you ain't gonna win against I think him. where United lack at the moment is that midfield. Casemiro has started the season. Look, like Casemiro has won five Champions Leagues. Yeah. He was the creme of the creme in the CDM of a brilliant Madrid team with Kroos and Modric alongside him. And he literally, one player transformed United last season and that was Casemiro. They started leaking goals at the start of the year and then when he came well, in, a fair, couple of games... Bradford knocked four past them. Exactly, a couple of games, <laughs> like Brighton knocked three, oh, seven goals Brighton, in the last two I games. Honestly, Brighton, so, they, Brighton then... Did Brighton but, smash us the last year as well? He smashed us about two weeks ago. Well, it was 2-0 last year, but it should have been way more. Yeah. Way more. So, who would you say... Right, Amrabat. He's a plus, I really like him. Had a great World Cup. I think he's at the wrong team. Where do you think he should be? Liverpool? He would fit the bill in Liverpool, because Klopp would get the best out of him. Ten Hag is filled with so many good players, he's like, what do I do? You think about it. So the problem, so the problem is not the, the players that we have, it's just... No, you cannot play football. Yeah, you know. But it's like, it's like... So with, with you saying we then, is that now confirmed as you as United fans? Yeah, but this is what so I'm saying. Made so like, listen, I don't mean, mind being outnumbered. City fans are outnumbered every week, <laughs> right? We'll take it. Yeah, true. No, no, okay. no. You have a better team, though. No, no, but it's only, it's only because that's I just how... you just answered your own question and you... Probably yeah. the red. Yeah, probably. Let's go with the red, yeah. Well, that's just how I've been born, do you know what I mean, mate? Yeah, you got, you got, at the end of the day, as much as I want to try and convert... A red family into a blue. Yeah. So in you've the always red been a blue. Yes. Always. Always. Granddad. Even when was shit. Granddad supported City. Went to the famous Gillingham game against um, Gillingham game where Dickoff scored. Right. So it's always been blue in the family. Yeah. Dad fell out with football because of the hooliganism that was going on in the nineties. Yeah, so yeah. So he stopped watching football entirely. Spoils it, doesn't it? But he never picked a team, and Dad sat me down when I was about six or seven started getting into the game and he said right you're either a red or you're either a blue yeah pick that's and it who you're gonna pick. be and so I when did he ask you to do that what year it just sat yeah. roughly if was, you were six i was seven. six i was six wow, so was a big, it was big a big decision there. yeah and it was literally on the spot and mum was there and said well grandpa's a city fan right so and i said i'm going to go blue right yeah but what year because didn't want united had a good team then United had a great team. Yeah, that, well, that was... Do you know was, what I mean? We must have been booming at that time when you were six. Because I'm knocking on a bit, me, so I, I, I'm like... First, si first season I watched City properly, we finished 14. Right, OK. So we weren't great, but the first time I went to the Etihad was in 2011 and I was 10. You was 10? I was 10. So what year, what, what year was what that? What school year was I at? Um, no, what year? What year? year 2007. Season. I Seven. Think. So that was when you had like Fasel and all them, wasn't it? Is that the? I think so. Or... Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, far, yeah, but... yeah. If you go back, because you was, you wasn't get, you, you was didn't have a bad team. You was getting there, and then obviously when that money came in. But the thing is with City, right? Is everyone says United fans will always say that City buys, but just flew it with money. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then he bought it, but they were clever who they bought. Because if you think about it. They brought in Aguero, no one knew anything about Aguero. And look what he did for you. And look at how we did it compared to how Chelsea are doing it right now. Oh my, they're finished. They're, that's they're the, finished? They're finished. You think they're finished? They're finished. Because they, there's too much, too much of um, so many advanced players and good players. They're, they're just falling apart. They're Sounds just, like PSG. Do you know what I mean? Same thing. PSG tried winning the Champions League with what they had. And they could have done it. They could have done it. They should have done it, really. Should have done it. And Chelsea doing the same thing. And they got beat by a better team on their one year that they probably should have won it. See? Bayern Munich. And Bayern Munich weren't a great team that year. Everyone raves on about how good 2020 Bayern Munich was. I disagree. I think they were. That was all right. Lewandowski's. That was the 8 2 Barcelona. Should, yeah. Should, should have done that, shouldn't it? And PSG had three really good chances in that game. Mbappe had two of them and then Neymar. See? So you can't just buy it. Buy and won the game. The way the way City are now. What are you are six for six? Yes, we are six for six. And what are we? What are we? Nine. Three for three. Three, three for three. <laughs> three for three. So it shows, doesn't it? It does show the way they play, because it's like the way City play. Everyone wants to play the way the City play. 
and um, Pep's just taught him how to play football. It's Pep touch, man. That's no, because the, the way Pep's played it, and he, now he manages it, but the way he tells people how to play football, he plays. He tells them how to play simple football. Because I was watching him, who did he play the other? Who did he play the... Who did he play last week? Just gone. Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest, right? And it was the first five minutes, it was like 90% possession because they were trying to get through. And then if they couldn't get through, they'd go back and go around. Try and go all the way. And if you, if you try United to do that, they don't even know what they're doing. Oh, Nana. Not good. Everyone raves, everyone's going raving on about Onana. Oh, no, no, he's no. good. But because Ten Hag's had him before at Ajax, I didn't know this. He thought, no, we'll just bring him in. The gay off. Too many mistakes. He was there for 11 years. That's a big mistake. Let, would you not let him go? Not a chance. Would you? Yeah. Not a chance. So you're saying that if you would have worked on a defence, would you Would you think... Would you think David De Gea did make a lot of the mistakes, mainly with his feet, because he's not a ball-playing centre-half. But I say this with a lot of City fans. Yeah. When you're one-on-one -on -one against Edison, I fancy the attacker to score. Do you? Always. He's the best ball-playing goalkeeper. Yeah. But the thing is, you look at Edison and Allison debate, there isn't a contest. Allison is the better goalkeeper. Do you? Because. So in the Brazilian squad? In the Brazilian squad, you pick nah. Allison always because he can play with his feet yeah. and he can save the ball. I made a video last year on Edison. Right. He had a 53% shot to save ratio in the league. The really? 19th best. The second worst. The second worst. Second Who's worst. The worst? I can't remember, but it was I think the, first. It, uh, the best was Pope at the time from Newcastle. Of course, he's good. Pop. De Gea was third. In De Gea, Ramsdale, Pope, and I can't remember the other one. Allison. Are these are these top that's, or? that's top. Right. Okay. Are you uh, saying Edison was Edison second was worst? second worst. So fifty six percent of the shots that went on target against City were yeah. saved. The rest went in. So it's nearly half and half. So when he's so when attackers so when you're watching City now and that if someone's attacking Salah, going to if Salah was through one on one against Edison, I would yeah. expect Salah to score. If Should Salah was one on one through David De Gea, I'd expect him to potentially save it. Yeah, what? It's a big statement, but I genuinely think that letting De Gea go was a massive, massive mistake. If That's Salah was big. one on one that against Allison, about that as well. If Salah was one on one against his teammate Allison, I'd expect Allison to potentially save yeah, it yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Edison has improved a lot. Like the Champions League final, he was really good. Oh, it was awesome, wasn't it? Was fantastic. It was and awesome. he started this season well as well. He's made a couple of good saves. He made a good one on Sunday, uh, Saturday against Nottingham Forest. Yeah, he but did. Last yeah. season, when I met at the time of the recording, yeah, second worst in the league. Wow, you would never expect that unless you sat down and did, and you, you did, you know, watch it and say, right, he's shocking. I had to make a video about it because there was seven games in the season so far we played about 33 in all competitions seven saves the team had one shot one on target one goal wow. didn't make a save either it's absolutely clinical which yeah. potentially could happen on three occasions not seven when you get to seven you're thinking right we've got a goalkeeping issue here yeah true because if the teams are having one shot and one shot only yeah it should be getting saved half should of the be, time shouldn't it? it should be so they're not all just tappings from two yards out. No, because you have to get past the four or the three. You know what I mean? Because if you've got a good defence... Our defence is very good, and that's what saved yeah. Edison last season very, from very a bit good. of critics. And if they brought in now as replacements and all that, they, they basically, what City's done is got what on the bench what they got on the pitch. United hasn't got that. Right. They, they won't have it. They'll never have it. Because they'll just randomly buy players and grab him and grab... Johnny Evans... Brought Johnny Evans back. He got assist on there. Uh, he did, but <laughs> it's like, did you have to go that far back to get players to play for you? Because no, the only way to get players at United now, in my in my opinion, is to give them big money. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Because if you had if someone come over to you and said, "Do you want to go City or United? Do you want to play football or do you want to learn how to win?" Do you, do you know what I mean? If you asked somebody that question ten years ago. They, they go, would do it the way around, they go, wouldn't they? They'd go to United. They'd do it United, the way around. United, United are the second, second, third biggest club in the world. They're still big, yeah, don't get me wrong. They're still yeah. probably the second or third biggest club in the world. Yeah. They had that United pull factor with Fergie. Now, do you want to go and play under Pep at City, or do you want to go and play under Ten Hag at United? It's, 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 it's going to be City every time. It's not it, is, it is, because it, 
And it's sad to say, to watch City play, he played football. He played beautiful football. He played beautiful football. Play football. Beautiful. And it's like, what, wherever Pep's been, it's like Bayern, you know, he's at Bayern Munich, he made them into a playing football. I'm so fortunate to have a season ticket to be able to watch that amazing football Is every it? week. It's just ludicrous. See, everyone I see, I wouldn't mind a season ticket to City <laughs> just to go and watch them. Do you know what I mean? Hold on. Well, if I no, but what I'm saying is that He appreciates good football. Yeah, That's I, all I he's really trying like to say. Football. It's a weird way of saying it, but yeah, it isn't. I really I like... Because I've been at United... A real a United fan wouldn't do that. No, not, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Another way, a counter-argument. Yeah, that <laughs> I mean, you could argue all day, but if you want to go and enjoy a game... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have to go and watch them. Because you feel let down. You go to a United game and... I think you're wasting my time. And do you feel let down? I feel wasting my time, yeah. I honestly feel wasting my time. I like to be further up at the back. The last time I went was when PSG bought uh, PSG beat um, United. Do you know when he that's the young pushed De Maria off the Oh yeah, two 0 that one, wasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> and then Mbappe scored. And I came home happy because PSG and Mbappe scored. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what's funny? You ended up winning that one on aggregate anyway, because Lukaku had a madness. Yeah, it's and it's so inconsistent. So you never know what you're gonna get with United, but that's PSG, I think. Same in it. When United even were in before Ten Hag, United would beat PSG. And they did during the lockdown, they beat them again, so... They what? They... Right, it's... if you were to rank, right, since Fergie, we've had this question before, the top managers for United, which where would you put them? Go on, Gaz. Uh, let's, let's, go, let's go five. I, I, I think Solskjaer had a, had a good time. I think Solskjaer, I forgot most of it. We had Mourinho, <coughs> didn't you? you had Solskjaer, you had Van Gaal. The, the only memory I know of Van Gaal is when he fell over. <laughs> That's probably it. I put I don't put Gaal on top. Yeah. What is the cups, man? Oh, I disagree with both of you. I what put, would I put, you say? I put Jose on top. Really? Yeah. Would you say he is good, but what he what FA he asked for, he never give him. Yeah, yeah. What he asked for, he never give him. I know. He didn't want he didn't want everything in the world. He just wanted because he's doing well at Rome, man. He's brought look at he let go of Smalling, and Smalling's running it in that league. He, yeah, he's, they call him Smaldini over there. There you go. Do they? There yeah. you go. And you let him go. It's like the things with Maguire. Honest honest opinion on Maguire. Yeah, what's this stuff about Maguire, man? Because this is what you were telling me the other day. Apparently, he's just, they're just putting him on the bench because he's rubbish. You know what, Maguire for England's actually good. He had a great World Cup. But the thing is, he needs somebody quick next to him. And I, I thought they might get that with Martinez. Yeah. Like, you have Martinez and Maguire together. Martinez compliments Maguire on pace. Yeah. But... Again, I say this all the time. I don't think Martinez is a centre back. I think it's no, no, I no. think it's a better. I think he's... he'd be better in front of that back four, like a little Kante, yeah. yeah, instead of in the back four, and then have Varane, and then go and buy another centre half because I don't think Lindelof's world class. I think he does a job. He's just there. He's just there. He's always in, so he's a, <laughs> so he's a number, not a player. My opinion on Harry Maguire is when he puts on a three lions top, he turns into prime flipping Verese, prime Maldini. He's great. Yeah, he's 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 a different he's different Maguire. Yeah, but in club football, he just. He just he can't do it, can he? So what would you do with him? Sell him. You'd have would to. Would you sell him? Yeah, you'd have to. He's, if he's, well, he's not refusing gonna, to go, though, isn't he? He's not going to play. Then why is he there? Do what you did with De Gea. You were brutal with him. You released him of his contract, and you, he signed his, and you gone. Oh no, we're not signing that. Yeah, and we then now he's a free agent. Instead, and then so where would you think De Gea is the best bill to go for? I thought I thought he would have gone to Real Madrid. Do you reckon? I thought he would have brought I him. thought he would have, but he brought Kepper instead. But they got with Kepper in, I even I couldn't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> Kepper not for me. Kepper is not for me. I, we watched He's... the highlights. Me and my missus last night of Atletico Madrid versus... Three on it. Yeah. Three headers. The Three second headers. goal. Easy. From Griezmann. It's like Kepper's got little arms. He can't save anything. He's rough. You should have seen it. It, it was terrible. He got his arm full strength, and he wasn't even that far. Yeah, wow. It was like that. Wow. And the header was great from Griezmann. Don't get me wrong. He was only, he was it was accurate, open, wasn't it? but it wasn't. It didn't have no, a lot of power just, on it. He was relying on his legs. To, to no, get he was just one of them. He just reached through his head, and it just went. Yeah, it was just in the net before right. he even got his hand where yeah. it was. He didn't even. Uh, do you know what? And he's seen it going in. Another club where I thought De Gea might end up if he didn't go to the Real I thought, by a minute, a sold summer, Neuer's out with a skiing accident. Yeah, so he could have fit. He could have gone there. Or like it is thirty six and his third choice. No brainer. De Gea goes number one, easy for Bayern in a I team that's well. in teams that's very strong. But I don't think he wants to go to Germany. You don't. I don't think he does. So where do you think he would want? His Spain or England? Because remember, he's Spanish. He's got to think of his family. Yeah, he's, true. he's got a big family now. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Mm. So, do you think he's going to retire now? Because it's on the cards. It'd be, it'd be now. disappointing to see. Because Senegal's actually. 
I don't know if it's true, but Sonny Jackson said he thinks he's made a mistake. I've letting the gay go. Well, I, I think, think he definitely has. Definitely. See, I, he might, I think early on in, in his goalkeeping career, he made like some mistakes and that, but then some of the saves he's made for United, mate. Yeah, player well, that's player of the year in 16, 17. Yeah. Three times in the team of the year. No Man United player other than Di Maria has got in the team of the year since it started. Yeah, true, yeah, true. And United, he only got in the team of the year because he was so good at Real Madrid that year. And he was man of the match in the Champions League final. Because he was great for United, Di yeah, Maria, he wasn't he? he was, oh, yeah, he was rub- something else in. Well, no, he was rubbish when he played for United, but great for Real Madrid. He's Juventus, PSG, everywhere he went. It's just, who had him then? Was it Van Gaal who had him then? Yeah, I think, I think so. so. So, do so you think United is the managers? Yeah. I think you, you know, it does sound like it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just a lot of problems. Always, I feel like we always say it's the managers. No, but it, yeah, I know everyone keeps saying it's just the managers, but it, it sounds like it. He's got, like you say, he's got enough players to, to make a team. Yeah. What a struggling. It's like you said, um, United was an epic comeback from Nottingham Forest. How was that an epic comeback? Nottingham Forest? 2 0 down at home in 11 minutes. It's not good. Do you know what I mean? It shouldn't be like that. If you put City, what did City do to them? No, we, 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 were turned, up, we were 2 0 up in about 15 minutes. <laughs> and they took the foot off the gas and said, let's not embarrass them as much as he should. Because Pep knows what he's doing. Pep, 100%. Not the a good team, but. They're strong, aren't they? But yeah. when, you, when you rattle them, it's like United, when you rattle them, they're, they're, they're finished. And you just sat there and people start walking out. It's not exciting as it is anymore, United. And it's a shame because they don't want it. They're hungry for the money. I personally think they're hungry for the money more than it. I think it should be pay as you play. This is what he's, yeah, this is what he's, he's brought up. To save the money. Because if, if. They won't do that, though, will no, they? No, they won't do that. But if you think about it, if, you, if you're a United fan. Say, so let's go for United, for example. If you're a United fan and you'll keep going to that game and you're paying. How much is the season ticket, United? A grand. A grand. So wow. you keep so you go there, a grand, and every week you're wishing everyone wants to win, but you're going there and you're getting turned over by teams who really want it more. Because back in the day, you used to be scared and it was hard to get the three points at United. And hard to get them when you was playing at home against yeah. them. Do you know what I mean? But now it's like you can get them. Mm. Anyone can get them. And it's like it should be pay as you play, and then it'll, you'll see the players. You put that ball in that net, and you will get you will get more. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah, but it should be that. like that because you think about it. I know they get taxed a lot, and they're on the silly money. What's the highest paid United Rashford? Like, Rash- Rashford's nearly on ten times more than Foden is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But Foden, the, the way Pep's taught Foden, because Foden and Sancho were together, weren't they? And Sancho went a different way, yeah. and Foden said, do "You know what? I'll stick with him. Stuck with him, and he's made him into a player. Because I'd play him a lot. I'd play Foden a lot." Well, more. The only I say the only player who's as good as him, or even better, is Saka. Do you Saka's know what? Do you know what yeah. I mean? And they're they're hungry for that game. The young, they're hungry, and they're not on silly money. But Rashford, he loves that side netting. He loves that side netting. And <laughs> for me, when you bring what's it called, Hoyland, you brought Hoyland in now. I know he's only young, but he's meant to be fed. He is. Yeah. It's like Haaland. Look like a good player, Hoyland. Actually, I've been quite impressed with with his movement. But he's not being... It's not being... It's no service. Exactly. Again, it stems from the midfield. There you go. And it stems from Anthony suspended by the club. Right. Sancho in bits with the manager. It's going to have to be Garnacho that plays on the right-hand side. Otherwise, you play Rashford and Hoyland up together. And for me, Rashford's will... best utilised on the left. Yeah, to give it... Because to... he'll outpace. Exactly. And then he'll wing it in. Because if... Think about it. If Rashford's going to go, the hat striker's going to follow. And then all he has to do is try and outpace him to get round and get it in. But he loves that side netting. I think the problem is with the attacking three or the attacking four, whoever you have at the top, they all want that wonder goal. You might, I'd rather have ten walking goals than one wonder goal. Do you know what I mean? And with United, uh, with City, Haaland just... He knows in himself... Haaland gets tries. called a tapping merchant because we walk it in that much. Exactly. But if he wants to pass, if he thinks a player's got a better angle at doing a nice goal, he'll give it. He won't be greedy, but he'll get three or You've four. You've got to be a little bit greedy as a striker because you do I understand to get that, but Haaland knows when... Um, I put when Kane knows... in that bracket as well. Kane? Like he drops deep, gets the ball, sends Musiala, he does. gets sends Sane, and then gets himself in the box to be able to... To finish off a chance, no. got a hat trick at the weekend. Hey, you can put the ball in that net, mate. Do it, mate. You know what I mean? Exactly. I'm surprised United didn't go for Kane. Really surprised. They should have, they should have gone all out for him. What would you reckon he would have gone for? 
Would to you, 150 yeah. million at minimum. And do you think United can afford that? United can afford. No, do you know? Do you think if they wanted the to, could they have gone all out for it? Yes, they probably could have if but they wanted to. But they've gone, oh, we'll get Ho- we'll get Hoyland instead. What was Hoyland? Eighty seven, seventy five plus add-ons or something. Was it? So, so not many people know about him. He's a good player. He was. He is a good player. I like him, to be honest. He's, from he's, what I've seen, he's got to learn that he's got to fight for that ball because they don't. They will not give him the ball. United will not feed him as much as he, I think he should be with Martial. I would have sold Martial years ago. Would you? Oh yeah. Would you? You're not being, you're not, you're not, you're not rating. Yeah, nice. No, I nice. think he's been. I think he's just been wasted. He had a good season, like a good half season back in when we did the. <laughs> when before he got injured. No, when we had. Uh, <laughs> that was the year that Sane, Sterling, and Aguero were going crazy for us. See. And United came to City, and we obviously it was the 44 pass goal, the most ever goal uh, passes in a single move, and then Gundogan scored. See what I mean? Oh, really? 44. Oh, really? Yeah. So oh, they did 44 God. passes. I didn't know this. In a single move without the ball going out of play, without it being intercepted really? and scored from it. Yeah. That's crazy, you know. So they, so basically, they were teasing us and they picked when they wanted to score. <laughs> That's the only way you can say you it. Know how, you know how, how good you, the team's got to be to make 44 passes. You know that clean what? passes. That, that was at 2-1 as well, because somehow they were still in the game because Martial had a good game, put away a penalty. Just looking at the ball and just going like that. No, that's, that's, that's exactly because all the players move for options and move for positions to get. If they're not going to get a pass off there, they'll go somewhere else. And United just doesn't do it that way. So, at the end of the day, where do you think we're going to finish? <sighs> that's, a, that's a tough question. Sixth. I would just said fifth. Fifth, just, just. I can tell you five teams that are better than you. Go on then. Right, wait, don't say him, don't say him. Let me see if I can okay, guess okay, him. Okay, okay. Let Go me see if then. I can run it off. All these five teams will finish higher than you. You finish right. where? Oh, I don't know. No, in no particular order. Yeah. In no particular so you order. You've got City, Liverpool. For me, I'd say Brighton. I'd say Tottenham and Arsenal. There you go. Brighton, Brighton are scary, you know. Brighton are very, very scary. But, but if, you want, if you want to take Brighton out, you put Newcastle in. So you could arguably finish seventh if you're not careful. Should we put, should we like if you take Brighton out, you put Newcastle in. What do you think of Newcastle? I think they're great, but I I'm sick not... of watching them on Sky Sports every week. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're not. They're not. Not. I think five's yet. a bit hopeful, you know. What? Fifth is a bit, you know. I don't think we're. So let's go with six or seven. Because at the minute, six or seven. So who do you think's going down? I'd love oh, to see easy, Chelsea go easy, down. Easy. It, it's. I've said it from the start. It's Luton, Sheffield United, and one more. But from what I've seen, I can't see Burnley staying up. By but, the way, they're playing. Yeah, in that in that one, it could be at the start of the season. I said one of eight. It could be Nottingham Forest. It could be Everton. It could be Bournemouth. It could be any of those right. teams knocking around there. But like the teams that have been in the Premier League last year, will be looking at these three promoter teams, thinking, oh, "We'll be fine." We'll yeah, be yeah, right. yeah. These three are the worst three promoter teams I think I've ever seen. In, in Premier League since I've started watching. Well, they've got two. There's one got two and one got none. They've got three points combined, one point each. Luton have scored three goals. Burnley, <laughs> I think they might they might string a couple of wins together. Out of all the two, they look the best to stay up. Sheffield United lost 8-0 yesterday. They are pants. They are got absolutely out They gave up after four. Yeah, I, fe- I felt sorry for them. Eight. Because he gave yeah. you a good one, didn't they? Was yeah, they did. One? Yeah, and... <laughs> But, but they didn't deserve that game. No, they no, scored no, a no. great goal yeah. from nothing. Again, another game with one shot, one on target, one goal. So That's my so, earlier yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, so it is happening. Right. Okay. Great goal. He had no chance with that. Yeah. We found a way to win. But we deserved to win the game. Yeah. But they were pants yesterday. Flipping out. It was they tight. It was tight. I think subs came on and scored. Eight didn't. goals. Eight different goal scorers. Everything. Eight, eight different eight goal scorers. Eight different yeah. goal scorers. Yeah, That's yeah, how bad they yeah, were. Yeah, you have a goal. Yeah. So this is what I'm thinking. I, to me, I think Newcastle are good, but I don't think they're ready yet. I know because when did they start getting all this money and all this play? Last year. So last year. So give it three. I'd say give it three years. Let him taste Champions League. But I like what Eddie Howe's doing with the team. Because it's he not, knows. It's not a great team. No, he knows. He but just knows. It's Do you know what manager. I mean? Because it's like Isaac. We should have got United should have got him. That Isaac. Is it? He's, he's Isaac, a he's a brilliant player. Because he's hungry. He was brilliant at uh, such dad. Oh, very good. Very and good. everyone he's on everyone's radar. And then uh, Ibra said he was brilliant for Sweden. He said he'd be the next best thing. Not as good as him. 
not as good as him, but um, oh, it's Mrs. <laughs> Leave him <anyway. laughs> Don't worry, I'll do it. Well. Here, mate. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah go on. so with Newcastle, it's just one of them things. It's uh, give it a couple of years, and they'll always be above United. Oh. I think they will be, unless you sort it out. I, well, the problem is, like I say, going back to United. We don't know if we're being bought or we don't know if we're selling or we don't know what we're doing. That needs to be finalised. It needs to be sorted, doesn't it? I don't think they'll be bought. I think the Glazers are there to stay. Do you think? I think so, because one minute they're asking for £7 billion. Sheikh Jassim's coming in with 5.5. United are valued at about 4. I think 5.5 5. 5. is a really good offer and I think that should be taken. So why did they want 7? Is it to well, now they want, everything? Now they want 10. So where, where did they get this 10? They just keep, it just keeps going up. Because they've got no desire to sell. The thing is with the Glazers, they're waking up in the morning. They're looking at their bank. They're going for a nap. They're waking up again. They're still looking at the bank. Right. And this money's rolling in. Yeah. So they've got no desire to sell the club. So why did they value it? I know the, the stadium is shocking. It is falling down. It's falling apart. Yeah. So why do you... Why, so where did he get his ten billion from? Where did he think? I've no idea. Do you know what I'm saying? The club, no football club's worth ten billion. Like even not Real Madrid. So right. So I, don't, I can't understand. So, it needs so to be finalised. If they, should, if, they if, if someone offered you, so you 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 was at United and then they said, oh, "I'll give you five point five. You would have took your hands and gone. I don't know. It depends how much money they're actually making per day. United are the second biggest club in the world. They've got revenue coming in from TV. They've got. Brilliant shirt sales. Like, yeah, you do, if, don't you, if you ask anybody from Eastern Europe, Western Europe about any club in English football, they'll all United. say United. You know, United they'll all say United. Yeah, got, like as, as disappointing as it is from a City fan, that's facts. Like because they were so good back in the day, everybody knows who Man United are. They've had Ronaldo. They've got that Ronaldo factor as well because he's yeah. the biggest athlete on the planet. So who's the goal for you? Messi. Not even close. And you that's think? not because Ronaldo's played for United. It's because every time I watch Messi play, I get goosebumps. He's that good. He's, he's, you're he's, Ronaldo, he's, you're Ronaldo for right. Ronaldo's the best goal scorer ever. Yeah. yeah. Ever. To, to get enjoyment of the game, you'd have to go Messi. Messi drops. But Messi drops into like his own half, dribbles past seven people and scores a worldie. Yeah, it's just you're like, either one or the other. Right? You Ronaldo, can't both. Ronaldo's the best at putting the ball yeah, in the net. You're either one or the other. Ronaldo couldn't the pick, pick the ball up from the midfield. He takes opportunities. Take on Ronaldo, about 15 yeah. players and score. So you're a Messi man. I'm Messi, but I really I do respect Ronaldo. As much Me as my followers say I don't, I do. You do? I do. Right. I think Messi's like a football. Um, Chad, you. answer that for me, please, mate. <laughs> 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 the salary will be done soon. You, you, you see the done. way Messi plays, and sometimes you think, wow, how that? How's he even, take, take how's he even done take, that? Uh, yeah. How's he even done so, that? You think he's a literal wizard. And you think, wow, like he's, he's something else. The day I fell in love with Messi was the game against Bayern Munich. Who were the be It was Pep's Bayern. They were the best team in the world. Flip, flip, flip over Boateng, when he put but six foot five Boateng on his backside, I'll give you the best centre half in the world, and then Chip, the best goalkeeper in the world, and six foot seven Neuer. It was an unbelievable. Crazy. I'll be there at nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the day I went. Oh my Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, you've got arrangements going on. <laughs> I rate it. Has she got an old car? She's oh, got, I see. She's got an old car, but she can't be asked going. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, anyway, so that's what made you into a. Into that's a, what I'm a messy fan. You are a messy yeah. fan. Obviously. What about you? I'd, I'd, I'd say I'd say Ronaldo just because of history with a club and that. And, well, right, okay. Yeah, and it's Ronaldo, really, isn't it? I've just always been handsome with Ronaldo. Oh, you're definitely a United fan. So he's yeah. got you on United fan, so we're going to have yeah. to treat you to a United chip. We've got you a gift as well. Oh, we've got you a gift. Yeah, we so have. We was going to give you Do a you? red one. Yeah, because we thought, we thought, oh, we didn't know if he's here. <laughs> he's going to give you a red blue. one. We Don't. have got you a blue. We have got you a blue. Oh, we've got you a blue. Thank you. So my sister made that. My sister's me, oh, uh, wow. me, me, me wardrobe, uh, wardrobe, and we've got you a... So an old oh, this is great. And you like you get, it? And if you get cold, yeah. and if you get yeah, if you get cold, we've got. Oh, that's can well. I put that on now? Yeah, yeah. you got to show hoodie. So we, so go. we do, we do, we do hoodies. Yeah, so. but we're a little bit different. So obviously, we literally love that. On this one, we've got we've got two on the wrist, but you've got one on the shoulder. Yeah, what well, else have we got? We've got one on the side. Oh yeah, we've got you a blue bottle of Prime. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna get you a red bottle. <laughs> no, thank you. That. <laughs> That'd be hung down there. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is actually picture really nice. That's yeah, really I like it. yeah, I do like so it. Nice. So, we had a, so we had a guess, a medium. We had a guess. So we bang on, bang, bang on. on, bang right, on. Okay. 
So yeah, so oh, what, do you want to give him a sti- some stickers as well? I've got some stickers, but I can't actually oh, wait, I find them at the minute. I've put got them on my PC. As well. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind, or anywhere that can get shown. Because right. like you say, we're just starting off, and and I think it's uh, it'll take off if if you keep at it. No. Thank you so much. You're happy with that? I didn't expect that, so no, thank yeah, we're you. Telling you yeah. we That's tre- brilliant. We treat Blue all ones. our guests. We Blue treat ones. all our guests. We've got, Indeed. and we'll give him the black ones as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. good ones yeah, and yeah. black ones. Nice. If we've got any left. Brilliant. We've got... I mean, stick them on the. We've got them on. We've stick got, them on. As you can see, we've got one on the on the back of the camera. Well. Back of the camera. Yeah, the the camera they're yeah. not bad, you know. They're not bad at all. So I won't give you a red one. I won't give you a red. <laughs> yeah, it's blue and black slime, by the way. And then um, should we should we have a go with the challenge? Let's see who wins. We've got yeah, we'll what? have a quick go with the challenge. Got, got City versus United versus yeah. somebody who doesn't know how to play football. Can you run? <laughs> so, can you run? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. So we have a race at the end of the show as well. Because you need to race him. Every guest has a race. So am I winning? Well, have a look. I beat Ginge. You used to beat me, I beat my mate, I beat Jack, he's a great, Jack should be on the show with you. He's a yeah, weird, he knows, he knows a lot about football, but he's a Liverpool fan. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good, that. United, Liverpool and City. Yeah, could do that could challenge. Do, he's, gone he's a ball, he's, he's gone to Bath, hasn't it? Yeah, he's a clean down there, yeah, hasn't he? He's gone to Bath, that's where he's from. Yeah. Bath. 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 He's gone to Bath. Yeah. So I want to ask you what a quick what question before we start. Yeah, well, well. I want to ask you a question. Yeah, no problem. So, my question is... I was gassed with my hoodie, thank you guys. I did not expect <laughs> that. I did literally gassed. Oh, brilliant. You know what? As long as you, as long as you appreciate it. Oh, I really I, do. I, thank I, we'll, you. We'll, we'll treat you as much as we can. Um, right, so here we go. I like this one. I asked you the other time, so... So, if you was going, on, if you was going out to... If you was going out for something to eat, and you could bring three players... Oh no, three football related people to have dinner with, who would it be? My ginger brother KDB. Right, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Right. Yeah, you okay. Got you the got ginger me. brothers have got to stick together. Right. right, okay. So definitely him. Yeah. Can it be any anyone? Anyone. Three football related. Yeah. Any Can related. managers, past players, present. past, present, alive. <laughs> I knew he was going to have KDB on there. He's like your KDB. Boy. Yeah. I want a conversation with Seth Blatter. Right, I okay. Want to see how corrupt FIFA actually is. See why oh, the so world that could Cup, be the conversation. Right. Seeing why the World Cup's being held in Qatar. Seeing why Russia are getting the 2018. Seeing why stuff like, like right, okay. inner workings. I'm yeah, really yeah, interested yeah. in stuff so like, like that. Yeah. Because it's so I'd go, conspiracy stuff. I'd take Seth Blatter out of prison for a dinner. Yeah. I'd treat him to that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe he needs it. He's sick of bread and water. <laughs> I don't think he is getting fed of water, me. Uh, I mean, he's getting fed of water. He's probably right getting now. some luxury royalty in, uh, in right. the can, isn't he? Yeah, so. of course he is. I'll KDB. take Seth Blatter. It's a bit of a one outside the box, that one. Right, OK. And I, I'm taking our bald genius, Pep, because I just want to know how he does it. He's just absolutely ludicrous, the way he plays football. So you take Seth. Seth Blatter, Pep Guardiola and my ginger bro. Who would you make pay the bill? Because Seth's got no money. He's got no money. Well, Seth's yeah, got no money. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pay it. I'd pay would it. Would you pay it? I'd pay it. And where would you Cause, go? Because Pep, Pep's given me so many amazing memories as a right, okay, fan. So can't ask him. Yeah. Seth's poor in the can. I can't ask my ginger bro. I've got, got to pay it. Yeah. I've got to pay it. And where, where would you go to eat? Where would you where go? Where would we go to eat? McDonald's. <laughs> 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 we said that you I'm back in because I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> it's cheap in here Easy. okay alright alright all right. Burger King at a push yeah Burger, Burger King. King at a push because it's yeah. a bit of a posh yeah yeah a yeah, posh and Burger and we you sit know. in rather than get oh no we get the drive through as well yeah yeah maybe just do it in the car maybe I'll sit in the yeah. car we get an enterprise so who car would be, who would be in the front seat though KDB yeah, yeah. Got, oh, and let the two let the two turn the back Pep behind KDB yeah and blatter behind me so I could see him in my rear view mirror to make sure he's right. not stealing anything. <laughs> Three door or five door? So when five? You, yeah, so when you get... Oh, no, black can go in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> no difference from him being in the pit as it is. <laughs> you got any more? Yeah. That was right, a good question. Yeah, yeah, got good more, question, got, good question. I've got a few here, right? I've got another one here. Oh, we'll have to save these for every guest. Right, we're, quality, doing yeah. the tri- we're doing the triple S. Yeah? So you could start any player... Sub any player and sell any player. All in the prime. All attackers. Who would you be? All oh. attackers. Att- yeah, attackers. No, let's say attackers because I'll obviously always Att- pick my ginger brother. So right. let's move away. Right, okay. <laughs> attackers. Uh, messy start. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna do players that I've seen. 
Right, okay. Because, like, as Pele's won three for World Cups, but I never saw him. I never saw Maradona. I've only yeah. seen clips. I want to yeah. see players that I've seen live, Fair personally, enough. in the flesh. Yeah. I will... I'll sub Ronaldo, because those two are the best ever, in my opinion. Right. And another attacker to sell. Could it be... Yeah, so you start Messi, sub CR7. Yeah. And then... And sell. Well... Sell the rest because no one's <laughs> no one's on their level, are they? Well, it, it, one of one of the lists was one of the, or one of the three on the list was CR seven, Messi, and R nine. Sell R nine. Would ya? I've done, I have to. I know. Yeah, no, you're not. I know, what, I know R nine is amazing and iconic haircut, World yeah. Cup, like Golden Boot winner on two separate occasions. I think. Right. But I always take players that I've seen. Yeah. I've seen Messi score four times at the Etihad. Cough baller. I've, the seen, I've never seen Ronaldo score. You've never seen him score? No. And how many times have you seen him play? Twice. Three times, if you're counting him crying on the bench when he came to the Etihad in the Manchester Ah, United. right, okay, yeah. So I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll, I'll give you a few of them. So, um, let's go with Bale, Hazard and Salah. That's tough. That's tough. They're literally all so good. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, nine, eight. Sell Hazard. Right, yeah, okay, okay. I'd sell Hazard. But we're going in prime, so prime. Prime. Yeah. Sell Prime Hazard. Yeah. I'd. Oh, Bale and Salah. I'd, I'd start Bale and bench Salah. Would you? Yeah. Uh, That's tough, that one, though. David Silva, Yaya Torre, or KDB? Oh. <laughs> 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 Start Kevin, so yeah, yeah, bench David. Move on, move on, can't do it, can't do it no more. Aguero, Rooney, Drogba. Start Aguero, not not even a debate. I don't like Rooney, but I think he's I think he was better than Drogba. He was, wasn't he? He was. I don't like him one bit, but he scored a good goal against us. (laughs) Yeah. Let's go with Rooney, sell Drogba. Do sell Drogba? Yeah. See, he's good, though. He's quality, but like Aguero. Have to say Aguero, just for that goal yeah. on its own. Yeah, and you're, I didn't. I never knew this. The only assist Baratelli ever had was that one. Yeah. The only assist it was it only assist for City or only assist in the Prem? Only assist for City, and it wins the Premier League. And it won by the Premier League. Same points, wasn't it? Is it same points? But goal difference. There's a cut, but I picked the lucky number. 44 when I was such a young child. Yeah, I want to know this. I want to know this. JSM 44. Yeah, what's yeah. the origin? Where? So the origin is, when I was about two years old, I said to my mum, I like that number. I'm making it my lucky one. Right. And it always has been lucky for me. And that game epitomised how lucky it was. Aguero's shot was the 44th shot of the game. Right. Really? Okay, okay. It I'm was our first Premier really? League in oh 44 God. years. Right. <laughs> so, so things that a lucky number that I picked when I was young. Yeah. Forty four shot of the game. That was the goal. And that won, and it was the forty. And the forty four. I bet you. Yeah, since we've won everything. I was like, why? It's forty four for a reason. So where? Under one pass in the United sequence, forty four passes. Oh my God! What? I bet you. Do you know what? Some things are just meant to be, aren't they? Of course, yeah. Some things are just meant to be. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find something on the Champions League win that's 44 related. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's tell us as well. We'll put a bet on. Bloody hell, that's maybe, maybe the goals we scored in a similar like 60, and then Rodri is and then we've minus the shirt number of Rodri or something like that's that. I'll find something. I'll find something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so strange. But that's it's crazy. Aguero but shot. It works. The 44 so, shot of the game. JSM, obviously J's for James, and then SM. My my name. Is that oh, his name? Yes. Oh, well, I know. I don't know. I just know it's James. So that's your name, and then forty-four is the finger. Yeah. So how did you get into all this? Um, lockdown. I was bored, and I've always wanted oh, to do really? it. Always wanted oh, to right, do okay. it. But so you just, so you, you just run with it. Yeah, I just went. You know what? Let's grab, let's grab a camera. Let's grab an Elgato. Let's start recording some FIFA videos. Right. And it was actually my mate. He packed team of the season Neymar. It was a weird story, but. I decided to make a video on it, and I was like, okay, that's going to be my motive for the first video. Yeah. yeah. And then I started doing a bit of FIFA and then making a schedule, and I was always going to match vlog the Euros because they were here. I knew how to get tickets and stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. So 
Funny enough, we got to the Champions League final, so I started one early. That was the one that we lost, unfortunately. Yeah. So, but I did vlog the trip, and it, it did okay. It yeah. got like 3K, and I was like, whoa. At the time, that's I was like, whoa, that's, that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot. We, 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 we get views out on YouTube, man. We're buzzing. Like, they're exactly, cool. yeah. They're cool when views. I first got my like first 3K, I was like, oh, my God, that is yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. And I published it like two days after the game. Now I publish it like two hours after the final. Ah, whistle. right. Yeah. So, and... Um, I just started doing the Euros. The Euro final vlog got me monetized on its own because oh, it was really? it was so oh, big of an event. Yeah. Like every vlog got 50k minimum. Every wow. single one. That's a lot of views, you know. Every and single one. And that was one. that was in the the the, year, the first what was it the first few months or the first year that yeah. you was, that you was uh, you started. Mm -hmm. That's a good. That's an amazing that's start. Better. However, there was a bit of an issue with it, and I got very very lucky. My first, I've actually if you go on my channel, I posted it twice. My first one got demonetized. It got blocked because I said something about how the England fans broke in. And obviously YouTube have gone, oh, you've got some a segment in it on England fans breaking in. It goes yeah. against our terms of service. We're taking your video down. Oh, how many views did that get? That had like 4K in right. the space of a night. So which was quite oh, a lot for me at the time. That was quite a lot for me. That was quite a hell of a lot for me at the time. Yeah. So I, instead of taking it down fully, because it was still getting viewed, it's just that it was restricted viewing. Mm. I just decided to post it again. Yeah. And it got like 76K in the, in the event. Wow. God. So could not believe it. I was like, Wow. Oh. That's not bad, Dad. And you, how long have you been doing it for? So three years? By that, yeah, so three years. 20, three years. 2020, the channel was made, but I started posting on it properly at the end of, like... Right, okay. Yeah. And you've got a lot of subscribers, haven't you? Yeah, so it's like... 235k. Who's really your lot. famous... Who's your most famous one in them? Or don't you know? Oh, Yeah, who, like, somebody... you got some, maybe, probably not players that follow you, do you know? Um, a couple. Just the famous one. Not, not the famous. I'll do my famous, the, like, the, two famous it, that are both, like, uh, Thogden and Ginge. They're, I know they're, those two they're, the, they're the yeah. ones that... So, and they're, they're both really nice people, so, yeah. Right, okay, so you've met our Ginge. I've met our Ginge. Yeah, he's, 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 we'll, he's, you know, he's... We'll have to do it. He's we'll one in a million. Ginge, we'll have to do a Ginge versus GSN, uh, Gasho special episode. Yeah, we'll he's... Get some challenges. Well, I, we met him, well, I met him because... I got a football team. I do my son's football team, and he started repping our games. Well, I um, hope Ginger subscribes to me. I know he follows me on Instagram, but I hope <laughs> he, he subscribes. He follows me. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? What <laughs> we're gonna do to this one? Guys. We're gonna um, obviously we we'll give you some uh, gifts, and we're gonna be, you're gonna be the second follower for us on the guys show. So Angry Jeans is the only we follow Angry Jeans, don't we? Yeah. And you're gonna be the second one. Boom. So I'll take it. Yes. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so that's a privilege, but now I'll, now I'll and the hoodie as well. This day can't let you get. It's <laughs> sick. And, and, and a blue prime. And a blue prime. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't get put down on that one as well. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Cover the cover the logo, mate. Right, you'll be all right. <laughs> I should be. I should be. So, how often do you post? I try to get to football twice a week. Foot, football twice yeah, a week. Yeah, because obviously I travel everywhere. Yeah. Like I was at the North London derby yesterday. Um, went so how'd you get the tickets? I got a lot of contacts. So, the, so I, I get a lot of them myself. A lot of them myself. I have memberships at every single club. Do you every really? single one. Man, that's that's mental. Every single one. Uh, it's, it was about five hundred quid. I guess it works in your like favour that. because that's. I mean, if you got you got that much access, you can go. You can be anywhere. Like. And the, the issue is, where the bigger the club, the harder the tickets are to get. Yeah. You can have a membership. L Liverpool are the most difficult tickets to get in the league. I've never been in the Liverpool home end. If I want to go to a Liverpool game, I've got to go in the away end. So right. Okay. If they're playing Crystal Palace on the Monday night football, I had to go in the Palace end. Right. Like. Lower teams like Fulham, Bournemouth, Palace, who can't bring Brentford, who can't bring fans up up to North. Yeah. You can get an away ticket that way. Right. Because getting tickets is so hard for Liverpool. Is so, it? So Why? Hard. Why? Because so popular. they've got a massive Irish following, don't they? And oh, it's quite they? easy for them to get over to Liverpool, as well as they are the second biggest club in the country. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so that's the hardest. So, so what was the? What would you say is the easiest to get to? Oh. If you just fold up and say, don't West, say United. West Ham. West, West Ham. <laughs> don't say United. United is hard. West Ham is quite easy. United. Yeah, there's about a thousand empty seats at the bottom. Do there will be now, in? yeah. <laughs> West Ham is quite easy because the stadium's massive. And the tickets... Me, me, me nephew went to that side main game. Yeah, the tickets are said, very expensive though at West Ham. Yeah, it was um, an amazing stadium. It's a lovely, lovely stadium. Not geared up for football, but I like it. I really right. like it. But a West Ham ticket... 
will set you back 70 quid. Just for a way to Minimum. Minimum. So what's the, what's, the, what's, so what's the Davis in the Prem? Chelsea. £240 to sit what? in the upper tier. Oh joke. God, Absolute joke. Well, I, I would have thought Tottenham for the new And they stadium. sell it out every game. Do they? Every game they sell it out because so many people I've seen on Twitter and Instagram complain, 240 quid, we've only got those ones left. But they sell it out, so the club wow. aren't going to get rid of them. That was mad. See, I'd love to go to the City game. Mm. Even though it's only down the road from me, I'd love to go there because I'd love to see some goals. So... Just because we're approaching time, should we have a go at the challenge? Because I don't want your missus bringing us up and, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to go, yeah. so... Should we have, should we have yeah, one, 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 one run of the challenge? What? So what? my challenge is, we had a challenge set up for you, but if you agree that you would come back again for episode two of JSM 44, you're more than welcome to, and we do that challenge, but we could do a run. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're doing you know what I mean? I've got, doing the yeah, yeah. I've got to do my run. You always got to have the guest. The guest has to run. The guest has to run. Okay. Because at the minute... So, right, yeah. then the jumper's coming off. Yeah, come oh, on, here we go. Okay. Blue versus red. And the gas top yeah. is going on. Okay? Yeah. And I've knocked the mic over. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, we're taking a mic stop. We can start that out. We can start that out. Oh, this, so, looks this looks good. Do you like it? Yeah. So we had it all set up, but because I've got to take the missus to work, even though she's got her own car. Got to have, I've got to have a race, Anna. So light, do us a favour, you said, light it up. Yeah. Light it up with all them lights. Look at this, look at this. Was it lighting up? It's going. <laughs> look at that. Right, so where are we running to? Yeah. I'll, I'll spike. Right. Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> right. When, when I say go, you go, yeah? No! When I say go, that's no, I don't mean that way. I'm gonna go three, two, one, go, yeah? Right. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, He's absolutely done him. He's absolutely, absolutely done him. Oh, he's smart. I was there. <laughs> Oh, I'm not having it, I'm man. not having it. I'm Do you know what I it. think? He... <laughs> <laughs> He's absolutely he smoked ate my it. Dust. Oh he ate my, my dust. god. That was bad. Thank you. Thank that you very much. That was serious. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. I'd say I was leveled for about two posts. And then you just give up at two the end of thought. Did you say two posts? <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't see that far. But yeah, well done. That was good. So you'll have your, your point on there on the school board. Of course, mate. And then, hey, do you know what? Maybe you'll have to beat him in this one because this one's quite hard. This one in the next be, episode, we'll try it. Of course. Because we've got as well as a goal. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, and it is, it is actually really hard to hit as well. It's really, really hard to hit. And you've got to do it with that little ball there. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. You can have a little goal, but it's, it is quite. Oh, imagine, oh, if he, it. imagine if he got Imagine if he got him there. How crazy that is. Like that. Yeah. So, one. thank you for coming on the show, James. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy your gifts. I really do. Thank you very much. I have to go. Yeah, thank yeah. You. I'm just gonna, gonna and I'll see you. I'll see you, you again. We'll see you again. Cheers, James. Thank you for having me. See you in a bit, guys. Take thank care. You. Sun is shining. It's shining, Papa. Anyway, we're waiting for a guest. Are we good? Hey. Are we on now? Hey, we're just testing the mics, really. Oh, right. Pick him up, man. Oh, he's eyeballing you, mate. He's Hello. eyeballing you. Anyway, uh, we're waiting for a guest and uh, we're doing a quick mic test. Quick. We've got a football challenge set up. It's all there. It's back there. It stretches quite a long while. Um, and we're having it. You already changed, have you? Yeah, I changed it. Right. Changed it. Yeah, yeah. 